Hi guys, welcome to my channel at Easy Solving, where we make all solving practices to be easier and educative. In this video, I want to quickly show you on how to produce a simple contour map using the ArcGIS software. So to do that, I am going to import my spot height, which is saved as .csv from Excel. So make sure your data, the x, y, and the h is saved as .csv, which is the comma delimited on Excel. Okay. So when you are done with that, you click on Add. So it is already showing here so when it is showing on my layer i am going to right click on it and come to display xy data so on my xy data you can see this is the x feed this is the y feed and this is the z feed so i am going to edit it to the h all right so if yours is not well edited you can click on this drop shadow arrow there then edit it to the respective Okay, so here on the coordinate system, if yours is not displaying the coordinate system, you come to edit, then you navigate to the coordinate system you are using. Okay, so you click on OK and OK and OK. So this is my spot height at regular interval. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is to come to my app to box and scroll down to spatial analysis tools. Alright. Under spatial analysis tool, I will come to interpolation. Then these are the different interpolation methods. In your further studies, in the geospatial um, studies, you will learn about this different method of interpolation. So the statistical and the recommended interpolation method used is the Krigit. So I'll be using the Krigit in the course of this video. So here I am going to click on this, then choose my CSV spot height then the z value is expected to be the h so i'm going to click on h here all right so here i will be renaming my file so the interpolation contour map will be coming as a raster surface okay it will not come as a vector surface it will come as a raster surface so i will just name the file raster so when i'm done naming the file I'll click on save so it is already showing here so there are different two type of Kriging method so the ordinary and the universal so the universal is what is recommended because it um, combines the deterministic trend model and the stochastic mo uh, model all right so why the ordinary only takes into consideration the stochastic model so the universal uh, method of Kriging is what is best used so i'll be using the universal then I don't need to do any other thing because they are optional. Then click on OK. So as you can see, it has generated my raster contour surface for me. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, okay, is to convert the raster to contours, okay? Raster to contours. So I will come to my 3D analysis tools, okay, then come to raster surface. So on my raster surface here, I will come to contour, click on it, then input as the input raster, I will input my raster surface, which is the contour, I, the contour map, which is in the raster format I generated. Then here, I am going to now name this contour. So here it's going to convert my raster surface to my contour lines so here i'm going to give it contour and click on save so here is what is one of the major thing to do so the contour interval in the course of this video i want to use is 0 0.5 so you may decide to use lesser or more depending on how um, precise want your contour map to be so 0 0.5 is the contour interval in the course of this video then the base contour you may not need to do anything because it is optional then the z factor you should put a value there okay one all right so when you are done doing the setting up here i am going to click on okay so it's going to convert my raster contour map to the contour line which is a vector 
feature of the vector format. So as you can see, this is contour and it is already showing. Okay, it is already showing there. So if you want to see your and any other thing, all you have to do is to come to the contour on the layer, right click on it, then scroll down to attribute table to see which column. So as you can see, these are the contours. Okay. These are the contours, these are the contours height. Alright, so it's here at the contours. So next thing I'm going to do to make that appear is to right click, okay, then come to properties. Then come to labels. So on labels, you scroll to label feed, okay, then you click on contour. Alright, so you can choose to increase the font and make it bold or change the color whatsoever. Then you click on apply OK. So when you are done with that, you still come to the contour, right click on it, then click label features. So as you can see, it will bring the contour ID for you. So these are the contour ID as you can see on the screen. So you can choose to now uncheck this, then import, import your boundary, your plan. Okay. So I'll be dropping under this video description how to import a card file inside ArcGIS. So this is the plan as you can see. So you can choose to clip out, clip out your features of interest. So what I want to do now is to clip out just the contours inside my boundary line. So to do that, I'll just come to and decide to just use the search tool here. So this is the search tool. So on the search tool, you can just type clip. Then you click, you search, click on search. So when you are done searching, it will bring out the option. So clip analysis tools. You click on that. Please, if you've watched this video to this extent, do well to hit on the subscribe icon and turn on your notification to keep receiving updates from us as we keep uploading our videos. Thank you. So here you are going to put the features, which is the contour. Then here, clip features. You are going to put the polygon boundary line so here you can now choose to rename this whole as contour map i'll be naming this as contour map and i'm going to click on save so tolerance you don't need to do any other thing then you just click on ok so it's going to extract everything within your boundary line only so everything outside so it is done already so this is the contour map it's done so i'm just going to uncheck this then i can decide to delete every other thing i do not need so you can choose to export this as AutoCAD, the contour lines as AutoCAD only. Okay, and choose to export it by going to data. Then you can see export to card. So under the video description, I'm going to drop the video on how to export any drawing on ArcGIS to AutoCAD format. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you next time.